Hey Negaritarian, I'm bound to tell, and uh, as you know, I'm very skeptical of Negaritarianism thus far, but I am admittedly very, very new to the idea. I should say really quick that I, I do agree with what you're trying to do here. Uh, again, I'm just stating this mostly for people who are just coming into the discussion now. They might not have read our comments on Federalist Films' latest video uh, where we discussed this issue. I agree with what you're trying to do here. I would prefer that we view people as human beings. I just have doubts as to the effectiveness of your methods, and so I'm here to learn more about them so I can better evaluate them and learn more from you, and, and maybe we can share and both of our philosophies about life and both of our perspectives can evolve and become more effective and we can better the lives of those around us more effectively you know, noble goals and whatnot. So I'd very like, much like to discuss this with you uh, further, as we both stated, um, and I just recently returned to YouTube, um, so I'd really like to do videos, at least a response video. I'd like to get one of those out there and in the open rather than just the last three videos I've made since I've been back, which have been responding to kind of generic events. Uh, I'd like to participate more in the discussion. So here I am. Um, but you managed to touch on an issue that's very important to me, which is the drug war and all, all aspects of it. Sociologically, the psychology of the individuals involved, the science behind the drugs involved, and... So, I have a quote here uh, that kind of relates to everything about the drug war, and it, and, it, and it uses the word nigger in its racially charged way to demonstrate the level of criticisms and hatred that generally gets placed on drug users, especially these days after 9-11, though this article was written before then, uh, where now with all the scares of terrorism, people have begun associating drug users with terrorists or calling them terrorist supporters. So that's even been added since this article was written. So I think this is only even more powerful now. Uh, but the quote is as follows. The war on drugs has taught me that I belong to the last tribe of niggers on the planet, drug users. An entire strata of society that it is all right to demonize, hate, harass, and incarcerate for the crime of altering my state of consciousness against the government's wishes. So, the, the, the power of this quote, I think, and I, I do think it's a very powerful quote, because, because uh, the, the associations made here and the comparisons and the metaphors invoked, the imagery invoked, uh, the last tribe of niggers on the planet. It, it, it's, it's very powerful imagery that I don't think there could be a substitution for if we decided to use niggers in the way that you advocated, the word niggers. I just, I'm just curious, I guess, to, 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 to know how you would react to, ex to exceptions to the idea that it, is, that it is always negative to use it in its racially charged way. Because it, it's taking those those strong feelings that both sides will feel, the hatred and the, the intense sadness and depression, and redirects them to bring light to another issue that, is very, that, that I think is very important. And as I said, I think this is a very powerful quote, and I think a lot would be lost if a substitution would have to be made and tribe of niggers couldn't be used. Now, obviously, there are going to be exceptions to any philosophy. Uh, or any proposed change, there's always going to be something that it doesn't that it doesn't manage to completely improve or work out. That's just the nature of humanity. We're never perfect. Uh, so I'm just curious. As, I know, so I'm not asking you to like abandon your philosophy because of this solitary exception. I'm just curious as to how you would respond to this exception or any other similar exceptions to it all, because. Because clearly it can be used, even in its racially charged way, for a positive way without having to even change the definition. Because it certainly isn't equating the word niggers to mean human. And just human beings and whatnot. So I look forward to your response uh, to, to this and my question. Uh, and yeah, after that awkward silence, I think I'll go.